behavioural. Today we're going to be installing mesh onto a spandex roof. We're going to be using steel mesh. We're going to be using these profiles on the roof side. And the tools we're going to need are a drill, a quarter inch nut setter, and a pair of tin snips. Now I should note that with the spandex roof, uh, that's of a very particular dimension, given that tooth size down the bottom. There's a few manufacturers out there who make ones very similar, and they may be perfect for this, or they might be a little bit different. So just check our website or give us a call, and we'll just confirm that that's the right thing for you. Anyway, let's jump onto the roof rig, and we'll show you how to install it. The first thing we're going to do is roll out our length of mesh. We've already tacked it in at the start, just to make it a little bit easier to roll that mesh out along this section of roof. Then we're going to put our gutter mesh trim on, and then we're going to put the first screw in, and then the last one. Keep it nice and flat as you put that last screw in. That's going to tack it in position. And then we can come through and put those other screws in the center positions. Next, all we want to do is continue putting those trims on along the length of roof. You just have to butt them up next to each other. You don't have to overlap them. Then we're going to put a slight bend in the mesh here. You can see how we're pressing it down. That's going to help the water to flow down as it's flowing down the roof. It's going to help it change direction when it hits that bend. It's going to just encourage the water to fall into that gutter. Next, we're going to grab our spandex profiles and we're going to start putting them on the top edge of mesh. Put the first couple of screws in. Don't put the last one in because we're going to come and overlap that last screw position with the next profile. So they do overlap as you go along. You can see the position that we have it seated there. The edge of the mesh is pretty much kissing the underside of that, uh, I guess that groove in between each of the triangular fingers. As we put the second profile on, you can see how we can adjust it, make sure those holes are aligned really nicely, and then screw that down. It's gonna give us a really nice, flush, good looking finish once we've finished the installation. Just work your way along the stretch of roof, just repeating the process. Here's a finished product. You can see how those profiles have got a really nice, square, crisp finish.